The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay guys, so we are on the road again. A few days ago, we hopped on a plane and left California. This week, we're gonna be staying in Florida, and next week, we're staying in Georgia and Tennessee. We came to Disney World for the ultimate field trip. That means while we're at Disney World, the kids are gonna be attending special hands-on classes, one at Animal Kingdom to help them learn about animals, and the other one is at Epcot, where they'll be learning about plants. So I'll go ahead and insert the house tour clip that I recorded the other day when we first got in. And the very first thing I noticed when we got there was that our stroller had been delivered. We went ahead and rented a double stroller from Kingdom Strollers and it was already waiting for us when we got there. So as we're entering the apartment, then we're gonna head up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, there's a little balcony that's screened in, which is super nice. Great for having breakfast in the morning. Then over in this corner, we have the living room. Pretty nice. Moving on to the opposite side of the room, there's a little dining room. Not quite six chairs, but four will do. And then over here we have the kitchen, which is actually bigger than the kitchen I have at home, so I'm liking that amount of space. And this kitchen does include plates and cups and bowls, utensils, there are some pots to cook in, and a pantry. This is really nice since we're planning on staying over a week. Moving down the hallway, we first come to the kids' room. So in this room, there's two double beds, lots of storage space for clothes, there's a TV, and there's also room for an additional blow-up mattress. And then next to that, we find the master bedroom. Nice big bed. And then last but not least, we have the bathroom. There's actually two of these that are pretty much identical in this apartment. Really nice for eating ready in the morning. Did you see the stroller? Yeah. yeah, that's our stroller that we rented right on the porch. Oh, oh, oh. But are you ready to check it out in here? So we will have the ability to cook some food while we're here, but we do plan on being away from the Airbnb for most of the day. So this grocery haul doesn't constitute like an entire meal plan or anything like that. These are quick, easy foods that we can have while we're here. So if we don't end up finishing all of these things, we'll pack it up in the car and take it with us to Georgia. For this haul, I ended up going to a store called Publix. They definitely don't have those in California where we are from. And I also went to Walmart, which was really great because they had all of the same items that we buy at home. And sorry for the lighting, you guys. It is about to pour down rain outside, so it's kinda dark, but we're going with what we've got. So, from Walmart, I picked up lots of snacks, things we can take to the park with us, and things like that. So, I got some string cheese, and this is the Star Wars one. I also picked up these for my husband and I to share. It's basically a mozzarella cheese stick. This one has salami wrapped around it, and this one has pepperoni. It's a good, like, low-carb snack. I picked up some Uncrustables for the kids. They sell these everywhere at Disney World, but bringing my own will definitely save some money. Some mandarin oranges. I got some teeny tiny mini bananas. Aren't those cute? These are supposed to taste like regular bananas. They're just a smaller size, and I thought these smaller sizes would fit perfectly in our lunch, because we will be taking some of our lunches to the park while we're here. For a quick breakfast in the morning, the kids picked out these. They're French toast and sausage sticks. So it's kind of like a corn dog, but the inside is a breakfast sausage and the outside is French toast. The kids love it, it's really easy. I also went ahead and picked up some plastic cutlery for us to use while we're here and some paper towels. I also picked up a special treat for the kids. These are the little bottles of chocolate milk, the same ones that they sell at the park, but this is gonna save me a lot of money bringing it to the park with us. I also picked up some sliced apples with grapes for lunches. I got some celery, some sugar snap peas, and then this guy looked really interesting. Usually you find fruit cups, right? But this is actually a three bean salad cup. Isn't that cool? So there's green beans and wax beans and kidney beans in there. Interesting, I don't know if my kids will like it, but 
I'm ready to try it. We also picked up these cheese snacks. We've never tried these before. It looks like a baby bell cheese, but instead it's cheddar inside. Way back over here, we also picked up a case of water. I'll be putting these in the freezer and we'll take them to the park with us. And then when the bottles are empty, we'll just refill them at the park. From Walmart, we also picked up our favorite ranch to go along with our veggies. I also picked up some goldfish crackers for the kids to snack on, but these ones are the holiday shapes. So there's fish in there, but there's also Christmas trees and stockings. I had never seen these before, so I think they're really cute. I definitely think we're gonna need some quick meals this week. So I picked up these three and this one. This one is definitely my favorite, the broccoli and cheddar bake. And then of course, these look super interesting. I had no idea that the Pioneer Woman had ready-made meals at Walmart. So this is not frozen. All you have to do is heat it up and it's good to go. This is the mac and cheese. I also got the loaded mashed potatoes. And I also got the beef and bacon Meatloaf. There was a couple other kinds, but I thought the family would appreciate these the most. Now I have to say we've been here for a few days and Miss Lily and I are not feeling so good. So I went ahead and picked up these for me. This is a probiotic um, gummy vitamin. And then I also got these ones for the kids. I don't think we're like super serious, but our tummies are definitely not feeling the best. So hopefully these will help. Now moving on to the items from Publix starting with some hummus. I love to snack on hummus. This first one is the spinach and artichoke flavor. Never tried it before, but I love artichokes usually, so I think we'll like it. And then I also got this really interesting strawberry one. Never tried this before. It's not supposed to be super sweet. It says it's great with bagels, pretzels, apple slices, and things like that, so we'll see. It's strawberries and white beans, so I don't know. Could go either way. I also picked up some of these kombucha shots. Now I'm a big fan of kombucha regularly, but these looked really interesting. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of kombucha, because I know some people really like it and some people really dislike it. Now one of the things that I love about Publix is their international food section. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of things including these jelly babies. I'd never seen this before. These were in the UK section. These just look so fun. And it's actually little babies. It's not like gummy bears, they're little babies. I think I'll go ahead and hand these out to my kids when we're waiting in super long lines at Disney World. And then I also picked up this Cadbury drinking chocolate. So I've never tried this before, but I do love Cadbury chocolate in general. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like hot cocoa. Now I don't think we're gonna need any hot cocoa in Florida because it's pretty hot still. Um, but when we go up to Georgia and Tennessee, I'm planning to take this with us. I think it'll be really good. I also picked up a dozen eggs and I'm actually planning on hard boiling all of them and I'll pre-peel them, put them in a container. And speaking of breakfast, I also picked up some of this vanilla yogurt with some of this honey coconut granola. That just sounds really good together. I also got some almond milk, and I really like the unsweetened vanilla kind. Got some of these carrot chips, and then I did get a couple of easy dinner making items. I got some gluten-free spaghetti, and some gluten-free rotini pasta. I also got some tomato basil sauce and some of this gluten-free Alfredo sauce. So, so what I'll probably end up doing is making spaghetti one night for dinner while we're here, and I'll make the Alfredo with rotini for another dinner. I also picked up some salsa. Never tried this kind before, but it looks really good, and I like that it's mild. So I got that to go along with it. I also got some of these late July tortilla chips. I got some of the regular ones and some of the lime-flavored ones. And then I also got some pretzel chips. Now you can see a lot of duplicate items here because what I learned is that at Publix it's like buy one, get one quite a lot. So that's why you see two. So these pretzel crisps are the sesame flavored ones. And then these ones back here are the garlic and Parmesan. And I really like that these bags are reclosable. So whatever the kids don't eat, we can close it back up and take it with us on the road. Way back over here, I also picked up a teeny tiny thing of Parmesan cheese. Miss Lily does not like sauce on her pasta. Instead, she just likes the cheese. So that's what we'll do for her. 
And then I also got some of these Danimal yogurt smoothies. They sell these in the kids' meals at Disney World as well. So I thought it'd be much cheaper if I just got my own. And now for the Disney items. I got all of these at Walmart. I definitely think it's cheaper if you buy these things outside of the park. So I'm gonna start with this cute little crossbody bag. This is actually for Lily. It has a tiny compartment in the bag so she can't carry a lot of stuff. I also got a new bag for Mackenzie. It's also a crossbody bag. There's Minnie and Daisy on there. And then I also picked up a Disney fanny pack for Jackson, but I think he's wearing it right now, so I can't show you. The lines for rides here at Disney World have been much longer than we're used to at Disneyland. I think it's because of how the Fast Pass system works. So I wanted to get the kids their own bag so they could keep snacks and little activities in their bags and they could pull them out whenever we have a long wait. I also let them choose an autograph book kit. This comes with the paper and the pen. Um, I think these are a really good deal to buy outside of the park. And I didn't get one for Griffin because I didn't think he would really care. And then I also got these little M&M tubes. And what we're actually gonna do is after the M&Ms are gone, we're gonna put our quarters and our pennies in here because we really love doing the pressed penny machines. It's something we do all the time at Disneyland. In fact, I think we have all of them, but we don't have any for Disney World. So we're gonna start our collection. Over here, I picked up a hat for my husband. I think that is so cute. And then we have all of these ponchos. These were about $3 each, so you definitely could find cheaper ones at the Dollar Tree. I definitely think these ones are better quality though. They're a little bit thicker, and of course they have the characters on them. So, I got the Minnie Mouse ones for Mackenzie and Lily. I got a Mickey one for Jackson. I got a smaller Mickey for Griffin. For my husband, I got a Grumpy. I always tease him that he's grumpy, but he's not really grumpy. He's usually a chill guy. And then I just got this Mickey Mouse one for me because they didn't have any Minnie Mouse ones left. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.